I think of Megan, I think of the embodiment of compassion and grace, intellect and silliness, all at once. It's not easy to pull off those qualities all at the same time, and she somehow did it with ease. I think of the best friend I've ever had and the best woman I've ever known. I really looked up to her. Not only was she extremely intelligent and passionate, but she was so warm and friendly. There was a calming, inspiring, and positive energy about her. Megan was, of course, smart, spirited, uh, funny, uh, just a wonderful colleague and friend. About five years ago, we were blessed with an epic snowstorm in Jackson Hole, Wyoming but it shut down the resort, so we proceeded to sit in a hot tub at the Rusty Parrot, drinking Megan's favorite, Wyoming whiskey. We love you, Megan, we miss you. We miss your adventurous spirit. I used to watch her play sports, and she was just such a happy kid. She also loved her dogs, she loved her family, she was a loyal sister, and in all the years that I watched Megan grow up, I never once saw her complain. Megan's enthusiasm was both inspiring and contagious. Practicing law, helping others, baking, she devoted herself and shared her passions with her work colleagues, her friends, and her family. Megan was really beloved by our staff, not only for her fantastic energy and creativity and passion that she brought to her work every single day, but also for her really remarkable leadership around building a more inclusive conservation movement and a public land system that can truly benefit all. I'm sitting in the Megan Dickey edition to the Holy Cross Wilderness, as proposed by the CORE Act, legislation that has already passed the House and is pending in the Senate. Once enacted, it will permanently protect this place as part of the Holy Cross Wilderness. Megan was inspired by this place and by our public lands, inspired to protect them and to make sure that people from all over and from every background would have the opportunity to be inspired by it. Inspired by Megan's vision, we've had amazing success connecting passionate students with an area of the law that they might otherwise not have considered as a career path. One of my favorite parts of my job is overseeing the Megan Dickey Wilderness Leadership Fund Clerkship Program, where I have the pleasure of recruiting, working with, learning from, and mentoring the next generation of public lands advocates. Megan is someone that leads by example, and she specifically saw an opportunity with our legal intern program to attract new voices and new talent where she recruited uh, aspiring law students of color into the program that have made such a difference at the Wilderness Society. Those paid summer clerkships during law school are so formative in a young attorney's career path. And Megan's vision was to ensure that the Wilderness Society provided those opportunities for the most talented and diverse law students out there. And along the way, hopefully inspiring them to love public lands and wilderness the same way Megan did. One of the amazing things about our clerkships is we bring our clerks from all over to Colorado. They get to work to protect public lands and they get to experience them. I'm not an American citizen, and one of the things that always felt important to me coming to the U.S. was the ability to enjoy public lands. And learning about TWS and about their mission, I thought it would be an incredible experience for me to take part in this. I was attracted to the clerkship at TWS because I was interested in both, in both environmental law and also public service. It was really important for me to have a summer experience in the public sector. I was really interested in the Wilderness Society because I saw that they worked in tandem with communities and worked to bolster the voices of those directly impacted by environmental policies. And that was something that I was really excited to do, to actually work with communities. Uh, before working at the Wilderness Society, I knew very little about environmental law and public lands. However, it was through the Megan Dickey Fund clerkship that I learned about the work that people do every day to protect these spaces and how important it is to continue to do that work. I've learned so much from being a part of this program 
and feel lucky to continue to foster Megan's vision of providing paid clerkships to talented law students. Of course, paying our summer law clerks is an important component of this program. By paying our law clerks, it ensures that our program is equitable and encourages folks to apply. I really think it's important for groups like the Wilderness Society to create a sustained paid summer clerkship because I think without the um, stipend that I received that summer, I would probably not have been able to do it. Students of color and students who come from a lower income background can't choose certain career paths just because of these economic barriers. So I'm really grateful that that barrier was removed for me and it really made a huge impact. It really had an impact in me and it allowed me to further open my horizon in environmental law as a whole. For the past two summers, I helped run the TWS Summer Clerkship Program. During this time, I saw the mutually beneficial relationship between TWS and our summer law clerks. For TWS, we saw new perspectives being brought to the table by our summer law clerks and their participation in the legal team. For the summer law clerks, I saw them being able to be empowered and inspired to take action on the most pressing environmental and conservation issues. You know, over the last four years, uh, these clerks have been especially critical in our effort to stop the truly unprecedented and unlawful uh, rollbacks of environmental protections for such iconic places like the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, the Bears Ears and Grand Staircase, Escalani National Monuments in Utah, and so many other important places. Several of our former clerks have gone on to land positions in environmental advocacy, a true testament to the program's success. It opened a door that typically would not have been opened without a paying opportunity. And this clerkship allowed me to create something that was an interest originally into a passion. You know, the Megan Dickey Fun Clerkship really affected my career path because I just graduated law school and I am going to be working in environmental law. Um, and I just accepted an associate attorney position for the next year and I'm so excited to continue the work that I'm doing um, and to continue this passion that I had that was really sparked by my summer at the Wilderness Society. I will be forever grateful for my experience at the Wilderness Society and for the Megan Begee Fund Clerkship. I hope that this fund continues to pay for summer clerkships and that uh, future clerks have as much fun as I did while working at the Wilderness Society. The Megan Dickey Wilderness Leadership Fund allows us to continue to turn her passions into action every day. So thank you so much for your support and your continued support. I'm so proud to be part of where we are now and where we're going to continue honoring her legacy. We can't thank you enough for considering supporting this fund and, and what an impact it will make because truly what we are doing is we're building the leaders and the expertise uh, needed to defend and protect our wild lands for all people and for future generations. So thank you. So thank you. Thank you for your support for the Megan Dickey Wilderness Leadership Fund and it's really important work protecting our public lands and changing the lives of our clerks. Thanks so much for your continued support.